Hey everyone, I'm Ultima456, you're the ultimate, and welcome to episode 152 of Lost Pan Dungaromper V3, Killing Harmony. Alright, so I'm starting here with some Monokumamel bees. Uh, these are the bronze versions of these enemies, and as you can see, I've encountered two, and I'm going to try and kill them. They will only take one damage each, so I basically just need to hit them as much as possible. So I'm going to try Electric Paralyze All. Okay, good, they didn't run away. That's a first good sign, so one. So the first one's going to have two damage taken to it, and the second one's going to have one. And then that one's dead. And now Kaido will use some Rain Fist, and both of them are dead. Excellent. Oh. That's right. Oh no, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Okay, cool. And it stayed. Hooray. And now because I have drop rate up, they should give me... Wow, they gave me a lot of money. I only got Copper Skin, which is a bit of a shame. But we got there. So I actually wanted to get back to the boss fight off screen. So I checked everything, I, um, I swapped some things around and I made, what did I do? I gave um, the girls the uniforms so they can have more influence because that's what they need. I also uh, made a hacking gun dash which increases Muse intellect by 40% which is 20% more than she had here but she had more focus but that's okay. And I took the stuff off the guys pretty much, uh, they haven't got anything at the moment but it is what it is. And we're going to try again. I did get pretty close, like I actually did the calculations. Let me just see something. Uh, oh yeah, we got the Justice Hammer, which is... Um, you can almost make the kitchen knife, we need a Copper Fang though. The uh, Justice Hammer was uh, the murder weapon in case 3 in the first game. Um, focus... Actually, High School's hat is not bad. What do I have? I just really quickly want to check. They have... so cheap hat... Oh, but it wouldn't matter now because, yeah. Okay, let's just try. I got to about 800 something um, HP, so I think it does have about a thousand. Um, not really much I can do with Ryoma and Kaito, but we'll keep trying. Uh, okay, so that's why. Alright, I'm gonna do... Hmm. I'm gonna do Wind Barrier first, and I'm also gonna try Wind Jet All, just to see what how much damage this actually does. Because the... The other one was doing around 40 something. Okay, 50's good, 50's good. Maybe wind jet, okay, cool. So yeah, the reason it didn't do one damage before is because it just decreases the amount of damage you take. All right, so that was a good start. Let's get Himiko to use poison. And I'll just try ice freeze all just so I can see. If this does bad damage, then I've probably screwed myself out of the win here, but we'll see. Oh wait, actually, it's probably doing the same amount of damage because she's got more intellect. So it's, it should be fine either way. Okay, we've got the poison off. Um, and here we go, he's dead again! Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh man! I, it's over, I can't win. Ah, uh, run. I can't believe that, that's so unlucky. Alright, well I guess we're gonna have to try a different tactic. Uh, I didn't want to do this as soon as I am doing it, but I guess I have no choice now. Uh, we may as well just save. Yep, clearly Himiko's defense is just not high enough. She can't survive. Is there anything like, what could I give her instead? I mean, I could give her the, which one is it? Shield dash, right, to increase her defense, but, but I don't think it's worth it. I guess we'll just do it the other way. Damn it, man, that's so, I'm so mad. Because now I can't even remember which one I'm supposed to get. All right, let's have a look at the death cards. So these are the death cards. Um, what do I want? Do I want a character that has let me just see something here, because I think I did write it down. Um, and... Yeah, I'm not 100% sure, but it doesn't really matter. Just trying to figure it out. Oh, actually, it, it, I, I can't even <laughs> decide myself. I have, like, it, it's up to the gods. Alright, so here we have the three games. Trigger Happy Havoc, Dungaronpa 2 Goodbye Despair, and Killing Harmony. We have our S ticket here on the left, and we can use it to get an S ranked character. Now you can see at the moment our rate of getting an S ranked character is 3%. If we had gone in here at the very beginning, it would have been 1% and it would have been a 99% chance to get a normal card. The S ticket guarantees you an S rank of, um, of the character. Now one other thing to note is that there is a trophy, and I hate, this is probably the trophy I hate the most, and I'm not going to show all of it, but there is a trophy for completing the ultimate talent development plan with every single character. Um, and that is all the characters from V3, all the characters from 1, and all the characters from 2. 
So what that means is that if I use an S ticket and I happen to get, let's say an S rank Kaito, and I, I'm gonna have to make that S rank Kaito because S rank is much stronger than normal rank. And it's basically gonna make me do Kaito over again. Now, when it says all the characters, it's regardless of rarity. So for example, as long as I can, like Kaito has already been completed, I don't need to do another Kaito. So in order to avoid that potential circumstance of taking even more time to do this, I will probably, I'm sort of erring on the side of let's put it on a different, uh, a different game. So if I use an S ticket here, whatever character I get is whatever character I get. So I'm going to try an S ticket on Trigger Happy Havoc and let's see who we get. We got Mondo. Okay, Mondo's all right. Bro, that was cool as crap. <laughs> all right. And you know what? Let's spend a bit of money and see what kind of characters, like, let's see if I can get at least one S ranked from uh, Dungarumpa Killing Harmony. I have, I have a 3% chance of doing it. So let's see. Correcio. I love these cards, by the way. They're so, it's so cool. I guess this is why like loot boxes are so entertaining. If you make it colorful enough, uh, uh, <laughs> are you serious? I have a 3% chance to get it and I got Marky. That's amazing. Do you want to die? <laughs> All right, awesome. We got Marky. I was actually more hoping for her U ranked card later, but that's all right. It's good that we got Marky. The downside is that that doesn't really help us at the moment <laughs> because we got, oh yes, you also get um, extra materials. So these are more uh, related to stuff that you can make later. I mean, I guess you got Monokuma Gather Fur in there, but Mono Dragon, Floor Mono Dragon, all that is much, much later. Um, hmm, I'm gonna go one more. I think the chances are very low that I'll get another S-ranked character, but I'm gonna try anyway because I kind of need another intelligence-based character to win this fight. I thought that the poison would deal more damage, but it's only dealing 50 damage, and that's causing a lot of problems. Okay, well, I pretty much expected that. Okay, I think what I'm going to do, because I really don't want to do another talent development plan right now, I'm going to go off screen, I'm going to try and make it back to the to the um, Monokuma tank, and I'm going to try again and hope that Himiko doesn't die. So I'll do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back here, everyone's full health, let's give it a shot. So let's try attack, attack, wind barrier, and I guess just electric paralyze all, which is pretty much what we've, we've been doing. Uh, so annoying. Yeah, I can't really keep track of the damage that I'm doing. I'm thinking actually, if I perform exactly the same way I performed before, because she has a little bit more, this is Mew we're talking about, because she has more intellect, I should win. I should be able to do just enough damage to win. It's obviously a little too close. Um, but it's still, you know, possible. Oh, I, okay. All right, so here's the thing. It, Ryoma doesn't do a lot in this fight, but he is another target for the Monokuma tank. So I think it's actually more valuable to have him alive than dead. Like, yeah, he can use wind jet all on Ryoma anyway, but it should be enough to survive. Stop sleeping, Mew. Don't poison and okay, good. So let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, do I dare try and ice freeze you? I think I will. It's a risk, but I'm gonna try it. Because it takes up uh, focus, but it does a little bit of extra damage. 29, it's not much, but it might be the difference. Oh, I didn't expect to... I forgot, I actually didn't notice that that ran out. Okay, that's bad. Um, hmm, okay, attack. I wanna, no, no, attack. Wind barrier. Electric Paralyze All. One cool thing about Wind Barrier is it always goes first, so that's good. Okay, he's pretty slow. That's one good thing. I really wanted Himiko's attack there, but that's all right. Uh, let's get Mew to Awaken. So double Awaken Electric Paralyze All should do somewhere in the vicinity of 120 damage. Okay, 106. That's fine, Himiko is sleeping again. Kaito sleeping now. All right, so it's just up to you, Mew. You can use Windjet all if you want. I'll take it. Yep, thought so. 
At least I'll wake up now. Now I definitely need to heal Himiko. So we're going to do Awaken, Summer Rain Fist. Uh, we're going to do... Oh, I need to do Poison though. Hmm. I'll recover influence on Himiko because she needs to survive. And I'll do another awake, uh, half awaken for Mew. Please, just don't... Well, Himiko should go first. Yeah, okay, good. So now she needs to use poison on the next turn. Yeah, I just wish she could get a crit. Two damage. He's health... Okay, um... Just attack normally, that's fine. Oh, this is so annoying. I need to recover influence on Kaito. Let's try that. And I'll do this. I really need to poison him, but I, I want Kaito to survive. Yes, okay, I'll take that. And now, now I can use poison. I'm wondering if I should awaken poison. I don't think that's a good idea. I'll do poison and then I'll try and awaken like Ice Freeze or, or Ice Freeze or something next time. Definitely been going at him for a while. It'd be really nice to pull this off. Okay. Sleeping, Winge at all. He's awake. They both survive. 50 damage. Uh, oh, just attack. I don't really care about some rain Fist. This is... It's a big risk. Okay, I will recover influence on Mew, and she can survive for another Awakened. Once she's out of um, focus, I think it's over. Oh, yes, Kaito. That might have been the clincher. That might have been the clincher. All right, do it. Himiko, what am I going to get you to do? Uh, this is the last hurrah. Awaken, Ice Freeze, Awaken, Electric uh, Paralyze All. Please be enough. If this doesn't kill, then I probably have lost. That was good. Yes! Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Alright, by the skin of my teeth. Alright, let's get this. Staff Dash, 250 gold, 300 gold, 500 gold, 300 gold, 700 gold. Now you're probably thinking, okay, yeah, definitely start the elevator. That's fine. You're probably thinking, why didn't you use like the S rank characters? Because both of them were, I should have mentioned this before, both of them were sports type. And I don't think, well, they might be able to be just strong enough to be able to do not one damage or like to be able to do more than one damage to that boss. But it just wasn't worth it in my opinion. Okay, did we get anything else? No, we didn't get anything else. Oh, I did forget to do one thing, however. Two under, wait, have I screwed this or is it fine? No, it's fine. Yeah, because I'm here, okay. Now do this, now death card machines ranked up, now back out, and if we go back to the death card machines, you'll see, actually let me save. Uh, we'll do this, oops, quit, yes. And we'll go death cards, and now we have a 7% chance to get an S ranked character. I'll try one more time now on this one. I don't want to try this too many times, but yeah. Alright, give me that S rank. Come on. 7% chance. It's not nothing. Still 0% chance to get a U ranked character, but that will change soon. Come on. I've got all of you guys. <laughs> Alright, well, I didn't get it. One more, one more. Because I don't really know what else I can do for the rest of this episode. I can go a little bit further in the dungeon, I guess. If I can get up to level 24, I can get the next S ticket. And it doesn't look like I'm going to get it. Alright, well... Oh, okay, I was like, I had... I still have that many? Jeez, okay. I can't count. Okay, let's go back to the dungeon. Continue. And we'll try and go a little bit further. Two underground. Twenty. So, like, I only have five minutes, so... If I could get to twenty-five, that would be amazing. Or at least twenty-four to get the S ticket, that would be incredible. But it's going to be unlikely. We're also going to fight some new enemies here, and some stuff that I can point out, hopefully. Okay, no, these guys are still the same guys that we've fought before. Oh no, actually, no. We fought the Hermit, but we fought the Hermit with the... Whatchamacallit? Go, here we go. Holy crap. <laughs> we fought the Hermit with, um... With the Cursed Monogirl. So Monaco... Hmm... Monaco Mantula... Okay, survived. <laughs> Monaco Mantula is annoying. It has quite high... 
agility. So you know what? In order to com combat that, I saw that I could make uh, intellectual no high school issue. So I'm going to do that agility by forty. Let me just see something. This also gives you intellect, but it's fine. Um, so intellect, uh, what agility? So I'm going to give that to Kaito, so that that way he can. Well, geez, he's got like nothing. <laughs> He might be able to hit the, the Monica Mantula at the very least. Do this, do this. In order to, if you're struggling with the... Yeah, this is another actually aspect that you could use if you want. If you're struggling with the Monokuma tank, what you could do is just make a character and focus on making sure that they're... Um, that they have level 10 poison. If you can just level like level that up uh, and nothing else, you, you'll win. Because level 10 poison, I actually wrote it down, level 10 poison does 150 damage per turn, which is three times what I was getting. So yeah, I was under the impression, I wasn't 100% sure and I wasn't willing to try it again, but I was under the impression that any level of poison was gonna give you 150 per tick because it was a sort of an even number or a round number, and I was like, yeah, okay, that makes sense, but nope, uh, level 4 gives you 50, level 10 gives you 150, and presumably level 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9 give you some uh, middling point of that. Uh, let's grab this one, 500. And come on, go, 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 go. Okay. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's time to check. Okay, Kaito, please. Oh, no, me's gonna go first. Silly me. Ah, damn. Well, that was a waste. <laughs> okay. We will eventually end up going through this a lot quicker, I think. I'll start cutting out battles and all that. Okay, uh, let's try this. Kaito on you, Rim on you, Himiko on you, Mew on you. Mew on you. Still pretty cool that I was able to make it to floor 20 with the party that I started with. Okay, Kaito's agility is unfortunately still not enough to deal with Monarchy Mantula. I don't know how Himiko survived, but I'll take it. Uh, that's a problem. Oh, thank god. Phew! Wait, hang on. What's Mew's agility? 30... F no, 43. Okay. Wait, even Himiko? Hmm. Okay, I understand why... Why Ryoma's not missing, but... Hmm. So she misses sometimes there. So she's exactly at like some kind of point that it's just in, in the middle. Uh, okay, heal, 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 and heal. Okay, this is a lot more needing to use the heals. How much time do we have left? Eh, still two minutes. Can I make it? Can I make it to... I've got to concentrate on this. Ah, uh, this floor sucks, man. Uh, you know what, we've gone that far. Here's another tactic. If you've gone that far without uh, running to a battle, you may as well use Fog to take advantage. Like, I could have been very, very much so, could have been one step away from a battle. And now I use Fog and we can go more. Regular Talisman. Okay, that is luck. So, oh, I guess I'll give it to you. Don't really need Himiko to crit. Okay, now let's go down here. Oh, this is a good floor. So there aren't too many floors like this, but oh, you know what? I should do Summer Rain Fist. Uh, oh, but yeah, okay, that's the downside to Summer Rain Fist. His focus is just so bad that, um, well, this this will hit, I'm pretty sure. No, it won't hit, okay. Um, silly, silly boy. No, 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 Okay, we're fine, we're fine. Yeah, this is a good floor. There aren't too many floors like this, where it's absolutely littered with uh, gear to collect. Oh, I'm out of juice. Okay, that's fine. Go, go, go. My fog is still going? Okay. Regular shoes. Let's give that to... Wait, where is it? High schoolers. I'll give it to... I'll give it to her. And you know what? Actually, even better. I'll get rid of these and give Himiko them, because at least if I'm fighting a Monica Mantula, they'll both have 56 agility, which might just be enough to actually hit them physically, because they have such little... Because that's the end. If they, because they have this, such little health, it might be enough. Okay, go. 
Wow. <laughs> I love that sound. They're even beginning to blink in unison. I love that sound. Um, okay, regular hat. What have we got here? So, focus. Uh, wait. This gets us to 72, 28, 56, 74, 84 actually. So that's useless. But for you it might not be. 74, 39 is it? 39, yeah we could use it twice. Okay, cool. Let's do that. Go down. No! Attack, attack, attack. Electric paralyze all. <clears throat> In if you wanted to speedrun this, I actually was watching a very long speedrun. Yes, I was watching, I was, well, I didn't watch the whole thing, but I watched a lot of it. Uh, a speedrun that was for the platinum of this game, which is insanity. Uh, I think it's only been done by one person and it probably won't be done ever again. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a really crazy thing to do. Influence by 30, who else, wait. So regular, tatted, I might give it to you. And I'll give you the other one, or no, I'll give it to you because you have the higher defense, so you may as well survive longer. Ryama's just all hit. Uh, thank God that was the right way. All right, well I almost made it to 24. Let's see how this works. Let's see if my my uh, brilliant choice is gonna work. So that does good damage. 10. Dead. Kaito is probably going to miss, yep, but that's okay. Oh, Ryum is going to kill it in one shot anyway. After Himiko dies. Oh, are you kidding me, game? Excuse me? Yeah, is the game listening to me? Because, like, that doesn't make any sense to me. How the hell did Ryoma miss? He has, like, 80-something agility. <sighs> Alright, let me save. And there's pretty much no reason to keep going. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to leave the dungeon, like this. And I'm going to go back to that location and we'll continue from there next time, but at full health. So everyone's got their full things going now. I like the way things are set up. Oh, you can't see your... Yeah, sorry. You can't see your stuff. Sorry about that. Got that part wrong. <laughs> all right. Anyway, um, I want to thank you all for watching episode 152 of Let's Platinum Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. My name's Ultima456. You're the Ultimates. And I'll see you next time.